Howdy y'all, Fuzzy Biker here. Welcome to Throwback Thursday. We're in the uh, magic back room of Baxter Cycle where all the uh, vintage British motorcycles are. But look what we've got today. That is a 1973 Triumph Trophy Trail. Absolutely gorgeous bike. 490cc parallel twin, four speed transmission. Just a gorgeous little thing. Put out about 30 horsepower. Overhead valves. We'll get back over here. Isn't that just pretty how it looks back there? Just a very, you know, very pretty machine. I love the way this kind of stuff looks. It's just, it's art to me. Um, an Amal 28 millimeter concentric carburetor. Overhead valves, I already said that, I believe. The cams are uh, down here. There's a pointer under that cover right there. The checker right there. It's kickstart only, of course. Uh, something interesting about this bike, well, everything's interesting about this bike, isn't it? But uh, it's a BSA frame, and it's got the adjusters for the chain tensioner on the front right here, front of the swing arm, instead of back here, like a regular motor, or like a standard motorcycle would. And I, I'm not sure what the advantages of that are, but uh, apparently there's something to it. Very pretty bike. Six-inch drum on the front. And I thought they had that wrong, because it's an eight-inch eight -inch drum on the back. And a six inch on the front. You usually have the bigger drum on the front, but uh, look at that. Uh, three by 21 inch wheel on the front. And it looks like, uh, I think six and three quarter inches of travel in these slim forks. Kind of interesting. I couldn't find the dimensions of those uh, tubes, but uh, very interesting. The back tire is a uh, four by 18. Very interesting looking thing. A lot of, you know, it's really geared. Look at, look at the size of that sprocket on the back end there. It looks replaceable. But uh, just a gorgeous thing, just a gorgeous thing. Wheelbase is 54 and a half inches. That's a 1384 millimeters. Nice, you know, standard wheelbase there, I'd say. That is about uh, seven inches of ground clearance. Looks like it's missing some of the muffler, maybe. I think there was supposed to be some sort of a forest service safe muffler on the back end of this thing. Seat height is about 32 inches. That's about 1813 millimeters and about a 2.4 gallon gas tank. I think that's about nine liters. 2.4 gallons, but this thing got about 55 miles a gallon, so that's not bad. So nine liters, 55 miles a gallon, not too bad. Another interesting thing, I pointed out already the gearing on the back. Uh, this thing, I found two different things. So I said top speed was about 75 miles an hour. Another one said uh, it would go about 90. I'm gonna lean more towards the uh, 75 miles an hour because of the engine size and the uh, incredibly large rocket on the back end. But uh, anyway, very uh, very nifty motorcycle. Like I said earlier, uh, kind of looks like the beginning of the ADV craze to me. You know, um, they said these were really popular out east in the uh, wooded areas and things like that. And uh, um, I read that there was a like I said earlier a muffler that was approved by the Forest Service. A low muffler. Um, also, I think there's. I don't know if this is a wet sump or a dry sump. I couldn't see where an oil pump would be, or an oil sump would be. Um, I don't know if this was the beginning of the oil and frame. I don't see anything like that, though. I really don't. It's quite a good-looking motorcycle. By the way, it's 9 to 1 compression. Just a good-looking machine overall. 350 pounds, wet, 159 kilo kilograms. Very good-looking machine. Okay, look, coming up here to the... Uh, Look at that gorgeous tank. The uh, seat looks like about a three-fourth seat. You know, if you said if you had two people sit, you'd have to really scoot up. Anyway, the tank. You know, you push that in. This pops off. Uh, very neat. That's where the bolt is to hold it on. Probably a steering dampener. Gauges. The uh, tachometer on this side. Odometer on that side with a trip meter. The. Uh, I'm turn the key on here. Neutral light. Oil light. And uh, I'm not sure what that is. Anyway, uh, this is the headlight switch here. It usually was a day or a day running light off, day running light, and then I guess I got it backwards. So off, day running light, then running light, and then the brights were up here. Okay, so that's the brights. That orange light is the brights. Very neat. Very neat. I like the way it looks. It looks very light and airy. Uh, let's shut that off. Very good looking motorcycle, I think. Just a gorgeous thing. Let that all soak in. And, uh, you know, I found this the other day when I was doing a little bit of a 
thing on this motorcycle. And uh, what I noticed was that this motorcycle, I think it's this one, and that one have a very similar frame, if not the same frame. Very nice indeed. Very nice indeed. Anyway, if you're interested in anything like that, get a hold of Baxter Cycle. Ask for Randy. And uh, those guys can help you out. Otherwise, thank you for uh, watching Throwback Thursday, and we'll see you all next week. Wahoo!